Hello everyone, welcome to another Exchange 2019 video. My name is Ed. In this video, I want to step you through running IIS Crypto 3.3 in an Exchange 2019 environment. If you recall in my earlier blog post or video, I did mention that IIS Crypto 3.2, 3.1 did break Exchange 2019. However, this version is working with CU13 without an issue across multiple labs, and I have it in a production environment. So if we open up IS Crypto, which if you Google IS Crypto, you can download it from Nartec. And this is what it currently looks like when you launch it. <clears throat> One of the things that I do is I head over to templates and I go and for example, if you want to revert the server back to default, you choose defaults. I generally go to either strict or best practice. If you choose strict and you apply it, it will tell you that you need to reboot it. But if we go look at the configuration, you'll notice that multi-channel, uh, sorry, multi-protocol unified hello is removed. This RC2128 bit encryption is removed and they've put back MD5 and uh, encryption and the key exchanges are all enabled, which allows you to modify them. And lastly, the client protocols is only allowing TLS 1.2 and TLS 1.3. Now, because this is running the newer OS of Server 2022, if I'm not mistaken, um, then you'll find that TLS 1.2 should be enabled by default, same with Server 2019. But earlier versions, you're going to have to enable TLS 1.2 to work. So this is a change that I've made. For example, I don't want MD5 and the Fihalman. I can apply it and then reboot the server. Obviously, you would need to test this and make sure that client connectivity, setting up new mailboxes and all that works. If it works, you can leave it like this. If not, you're going to have to go back to the templates and specify server default, apply it, reboot it again, and then it should be back to what it was initially. So I just wanted to demonstrate that IIS Crypto is working again on the latest version of Exchange. I will be testing it when the next release or the next CU or security update comes out to see if that makes any difference to the software. Thank you very much for watching.